Hello, this is Sullivan Adams. This is me giving a breakdown video of My Hero Academia Season 3, Episode 12. Oh, now, this is the, this episode is less of, less of a review and, and it is also a breakdown. Me giving perspective of each character one by one on what their opinions are, what what's happening, what they're dealing with, more or less. As just scene by scene, mostly, and not trying to trying to give too much and try to focus and repeat the characters' words one by one, because this is more of a breakdown than an actual review. And and since the episodes already air, 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 so 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 there's already a lot of spoilers for you if you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you haven't. Also, keep in mind that. And I'm tr this is also experimental for me, trying to take things slow, sl slowly, one step at a time, trying to move forward and to see how things are. Uh, this video is more. This video is a review, and my hero you know, is very popular, so there's probably a lot of people who've seen this episode already. So, anyway, let's get started. We start out from the perspective of the police department. Uh, basically, they're trying to find out how they're going to deal with the League of Villains. No longer are they just a bunch of young punks. Uh, they stepped up their game. The fact that they've launched several they've uh, they launched several attacks, they gained notable attention news and now All Might the Symbol of Peace is now retired and hired, so they ha find a way to change the situation. So they try to come up with a brand new game plan for how to deal with these these people. It was probably gonna be very problematic. So let's get see how things go from forward. Meanwhile, in the hospital, oh, uh, All Might laments on his thoughts of being the number one hero now officially retired due to his injury. He, he, he Torino, you know, and, and uh, Tsuguchi talk about how Tomar Shigaraki telling them how how this happened and how they, that they don't, Tomar Shigaraki is not a Shimura's grandson. It's later explained by Gran Torino that after her husband was killed, you know, she gave up her child to foster care to protect him. And so, this came at great personal cost because it meant she also told them not to interact with the child no matter what. This could this caused a problem because if they have interacted with the child and talked to him, then they could have protected him. All my feeling guilty over this decision. And in laments. And tries to see if he could find Shigaraki and probably make amends. However, Gran Torino intercedes, selling his former student that that is not the wisest of decisions. That it's best that they leave, leave the league, league to them while he goes back to, to UA High and focus on on his recovery and being a teacher there. Uh, me, uh, once again, and the students. And managed after rescuing Bakugo, gave him back to the police department, where there he remained safe in custody until, until he released back to his family. Yeah. Later, Todoroki goes home and he finds his sister and Endeavor there. Endeavor is curious for the, over the fact that he's now been granted the number one spot. However, instead of earning it himself, he's now granted the number one position due to All Might's sudden retirement. And, 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 and this which did not sit well to him. He always wanted to surpass All Might, which is why he pushed himself and his family so hard. But he, but, but, but given the current situation, he has no choice but to accept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Izuku returns home, home goes to his, and he's, and he's by his mother, yeah, but she has no idea what she's been through. So, oh, it's very, so he, he immediately goes home, goes to bed. And sleeps. Later that night, he's awakened by a text and leaves the house. Um, and he rendezvous with All Might. All Might, I, I tells him, they took you a while to, well, and greets him. And when, as the two get closer, All Might hit him with a text to smash. He later they're chastised the boy by telling him how foolish he was for going out to the battlefield. You know, telling him that he was being he restless and risking his life. Right? No matter how, you know, what he says, he later he took. He also dons his muscle form, tell and that his fight will no and that he no longer is able to fight, and that he, he he's officially retired. He also tells her that he's proud of him for the fact that he got to rescue his friend, 
without getting too much in the fight. By telling him that he's going to be spending the rest remainder of his time on right, training him for how long since he has no how long I'm going to be here up. Late later here all my Vlad King and and Aizawa all meet with a racer head. Meet with all meet with uh with Principal Nezu, he discusses his the the student dorm plan. And he also thanks All Might for his years of service. Yes, but they also at the plan they also met the plan to have for student dorm housing. And telling them that they should be good by doing this, they'll keep the students safe and also make sure not to raise but make sure that no that Yu Wei High is still is still a safe institution because now that they'll be living on campus they'll be protected. And also trying to save public face and, and now that Balkago has been rescued. Things you know, off slowly as they tried to recruit, to talk to the parents one by one. They start off with Kokajiro's parents, and they, they eventually agreed. And there's also the next family with the the, the Bakugo residence where they where we get to see the Bakugo's parents. And the parents agree to let go of stay at the academy, and the, especially and they and they and they talk. They meet go or chastises her son in front of the teachers and, and chastises her husband as well, telling them and that this is up in them that, that they understand that the position they're in and they also know how her son works and, and in this position and they know oh, how hard it is to deal with. She also tells that she has faith in them and she understands that her son and her son has always been very arrogant and prideful and he herself into this situation. So she's putting her faith into the school, telling her that she has their permission to and to take care of her son. Bakugo later talks with All Might uh, outside, asks him, what is Midoriya to you? And, and But All Might dodges the question, telling that he's his precious student. Bakugo uh, turns his back on All Might and goes back into the house. A little disappointment, but says his thanks. Okay. He then ent he then tells Aizawa that he's going to be dealing with the next student, which is going to, which is Midoriya, and he is greeted by Midoriya and his mom Unko. Uh, this this moment Unko step uh, tells him that he refuses to let at UA High High be her son have her son attend school anymore. Uh, this is because of the sudden attacks and the injuries that who has suffered so much. No, she's been out of her mind with worry as she decides to step her put down as a protective parent, telling All Might that she does not want her son to suffer anymore. She 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 knows that he wants to be a hero and there are other schools available, but she fears that the longer he stays at UA High, there's a chance that he will not will suffer even more than he already has. No, this causes a lot of tension between her, her, her son, and All Might, given the current situation of and what they're facing. She, she, she's always been supportive of her son, but given the fact that what she's dealing with and how, how much it's affected her, she can't bear the thought of losing her son. Hidoria so, tries his best to try to convince his mom that this is all his fault and all, and the school was not responsible, but she laments telling him that they're his teachers, they should have known better. Uh, telling them that they should have, should have learned uh, how dangerous it was. Uh, uh, All, Might tries, All Might tries his best to try to rally the situation, but Unko, you know, tear-driven, telling him that he cannot, does not have faith, hesitating with the fact that she may lose her son to this. So, but so Midoriya runs away and enters her room and comes back with a note, telling him that it's a thank you letter from a young boy named Kota, who he rescued during the summer camp attack. Uh, the boy tell, he tells him that, that he tells him that, and thanks and telling him that he has the support of this boy and get, telling him to get well soon. So, All Might reads this and hears this and, and laments, going into his muscle form arm, arm, and seeing the boy, seeing Midori and Unko, he walks towards them and gets on his knees and bowing his head. And telling them that he's believed that he, there's that Midoriya is going to be the next symbol of peace, that he's training him to be a successor, and he is willing to give up his life to protect him. Uh, 
Hmm. Unko, shocked by this, hesitant and and, and all, uh, 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 ha having no choice, uh, she bow she gets on her knees, telling him not to sacrifice his life, telling that she will entrust uh, Midoriya to uh, to All Might as long as she promises not not to give up his life, uh, and not to toss it away. Hey, she, hey, she laments knowing it was a painful experience, but knowing that he is willing to die. And to protect her son is not something she's willing to accept, especially since her son uh, looks up to him so much. Now, the episode uh, ends uh, with a post credit scene you know, of all my, of all for one being taken to prison, and and him and it starts thinking about Tomo Shigaraki and a shot of Tobio Aki and Nika villains in, in their in their hideaway. Him to, him 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 knowing that you know, everything he has done has led up to its point. And him telling Toka Rocky, now it's his turn. Right. And that's it. This was this is my first experimental video. I'm trying to do my best just not to hopefully hopefully you understand what I'm getting at. And if you guys are curious why I'm doing this, it's because I've made videos on this episode before I even recorded the reaction. But due to an issue and certain problems I couldn't save my files, and unfortunately, that video had to be deleted, and I couldn't recover it. So, oh, this is just me doing some experimenting. And I hope you guys enjoy this, because this is me just this is just the first step in a bunch of videos I want to do. Oh, and I recorded a lot of videos all the way to the first episode of season four. So I got a whole lot of stuff that I gotta, you know, take care of. So hey, hope you enjoyed this. Wanted this. My Hero Academia Season 3, Episode 12. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.